Broadcast Network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> We're back. Ooh, we are fired up. We <laughs> missed you guys last week. Hey guys, welcome back to another Nashville After Buzz or oh, Nashville After Buzz show here at After Buzz TV. Uh, it is season three, episode seven, called "I'm Coming Home to You." I'm one of your hosts, JJ Jorgens. I'm joined here tonight by these lovely ladies. Woo-hoo! We're all here. I love that we're like every almost yeah. every week we've all been here. It's always such a Yay. nice, fun little. Mm-hmm. Break. We're friends. I've missed mm. you guys. What's your name? My, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Keaton. Hi, Hi Keaton. <laughs> Hi, guys. Guys, I'm Whitney Lane. Hey everyone, I'm Violet Canyon. And in the booth we have <laughs> Marissa. What's up? Uh, well, first I want to give a little shout out to someone here on the panel tonight because I was traveling last week. I took a fun trip to New York and I just want to encourage all of you to fly Virgin Airlines <laughs> out there because if you fly Virgin, you will get to see our beautiful Violet do the in-flight video. The whole, you can watch her for five hours on the way there and the oh, way back. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's amazing. 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 and she looks beautiful so yeah Thank look for her when I you're have never there. flown virgin me it's neither <laughs> I was a virgin virgin until then and oh, I'm like nice. and I'm about yelling on the plane wait that's violent that's violent yeah. I'm looking around for somebody to, to share with him. I, love it. I love I it I I care I do I too. thought you were gonna give Whitney a shout out for her that's birthday we'll get to that one next <laughs> that's, I was like oh I'm like, oh. We'll give Whitney week, an ladies. early happy birthday. Thank we could all you. sing right now. No. But, uh, we'll so, save it. Yeah. We'll like, sing oh. some country. Let's, yeah. talk, let's sing so about Next country. Tuesday is we'll the big day. We'll bring somebody in next week for you to sing you yeah. happy birthday. Somebody good yeah. looking. Uh-huh. Maybe we'll bring Corey back a and have him sing again. Oh, there, yeah, there you go. You missed country. Corey. Man. Yeah. Corey said he couldn't sing, though, right? Or did oh, he right, say right, 13 seconds. Right, 13 seconds and he's done. All right. Okay, guys. We are going to dive into this episode now. All right, let's first start off with talking something about... God, it's been two weeks and I can't talk tonight. Let's talk <laughs> okay. about something we were all very happy. We believe it's the end of Pam tonight. <laughs> Bye, Felicia! Don't let the door hit you on the way out. For real. <laughs> and she knew, though, that's good. She knows what happens on the road stays on the road. You can't bring it yeah. into real life. And I'm like, honey, that was never going to happen. Thank goodness. <laughs> I'm like, why is he even inviting her into his home? Well, and let's back up. First at the door saying, <laughs> you know, I'm not a stalker, but I somehow know where you live. Yeah. And no biggie. Like, stalker. Yeah. Have you guys seen that new TV show on yes, TV? Yes, CBS. That's called mm-hmm. Stalker. The new TV show on TV. Yeah, that's what she should be on that. Because that's creepy. It is weird. <laughs> yeah. They're just weird in general. But I literally thought at the baggage claim, I was like, it's done. Yeah. It's got to be done. But, you know, what you going to do when it comes to Pam? I liked her at first, and then Spray I kind of got with her. annoyed, and I'm mm-hmm. glad she's gone. So, bye. Mm. <laughs> yes. Um, so, what about when she came over with the soup and stuff? Like, first of all, I'm like, How can't she, you get a she... clue? Because it's like, Pam, I know you're trying to be nice, but look at him right now. He was struggling like something hardcore. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hardcore struggling. <laughs> Struggle like we are tonight, <laughs> trying to get our words out. I but so I'm like, read the room. Here's your soup. Like, leave. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I guess we needed the end of, of Sam. Of <laughs> Sam, Sam. Of Pam and Deacon. And, you know, she's never been good at that, though, because we said that before when she was in the trailer and she invites herself over for poker. Like, yeah. all along, she's kind of done that. It's like, okay, most girls, like, if, you, if you're if you in the hotel room yeah. and you, you know, like, I don't know, from, you from the beginning. Her, yeah. yeah. She, she was, doesn't get social cues. No. <laughs> no, but she did get what she wanted on the road, and now she she, yeah. she gets that it's done. So, I moving have to give on. Good for her. Well, yeah, I knew can, good. I mean, she got a little something all of us wish we could get a little of. She got a little Deacon. <laughs> exactly. So, you know what? What, Pam, more power to you, and but she it's was time sitting, to move on. She was sitting there talking about Raina, too. Yeah. Did you hear that? They're... Talking about they never actually lived in the same house, but it brings back a lot of memories to him, all this kind of stuff. Awkward. Yeah. But, I mean, I think she knows her role in his life, and 
it just solidified it a Maybe. little bit more. Yeah. This was more of an episode in terms of Dina, Deacon and Ray, Raina. <laughs> Dana. In terms of Dana. Deacon and Raina, they both are thinking about the other one a little bit more in this mm-hmm. episode, and we're starting to see them like kind of set the scene, I think, for what's mm-hmm. to come. But yeah, see you, Pam. <laughs> Maybe on the next tour. <laughs> All right. That ends that. <laughs> All right. So now a new relationship that we see blossoming, not a romantic one, but is Scarlett and Terry. Which I, I like Bubba. Bubba. I love it. Did we ever find out if he's Bubba Gump? He yes he was. He Bubba. Was. That's why she we keeps confirm? calling him Bubba. I thought, I thought, no, because we weren't. I thought we yeah. weren't sure. We were gonna look he it up. And I'm know. pretty sure he is. Well, we you will guys check let for us sure. Know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, let us know if that was actually him. But regardless, he's got a great voice, and I think he's Scarlett's new best friend. I like well, they're it. both. I love how you know Scarlett's been struggling with this with the stage fright and not having support. And the moment that she's asked, like he asked her for support, she kind of gets that courage and is able to get on stage and is able to sing again. So it's like they both were struggling with the same thing. Like they both kind of blamed music for mm-hmm. a really, really dark period in their lives. So it's really awesome that they both can kind of support each other and help each other out of this in a completely platonic way. Like this right. is a new mm-hmm. kind of this type of storyline. We see yes. a new relationship yes. between a male and a female, not a let's bound chick at wow, wow, like bang and write songs together. No, mm-hmm. it's just two artists that write well together and that both should be on stage singing and they're both up there. Mm-hmm. And what a story he has, oh, you guys. I, I was just like, I thought something devastating yeah. had to have happened. But at first it kind of seemed like, oh, his family just left him because all he thought about was music. Right. But then it's like, no, there's something that happened and it's so sad, a head-on collision mm-hmm. coming on Thanksgiving to come see him where he was performing for 5,000 people. I don't know. It's just so sad. Not that I like it, but I like it as far as a story choice, like versus, oh, I got on the road and I, you know, left them or I got into drugs and alcohol. Mm -hmm. Like, I liked this storyline choice. Yeah. Because it's one that you're like, he can't, he couldn't control it. It's, Mm -hmm. uh, it's just sad. And it's something that, you know, nobody wants that to happen happen in their lives. And so Scarlett getting to hear that and him finally opening up about it, it just brought them together in a way that I think is going to be really great in terms for music Mm -hmm. for the show, but also to, to get them both back up on stage Mm -hmm. and have successful careers. And I love, I love the bluesy sound. It's like a new, you know, I feel like with Nashville, we've been really lucky because they they do a lot of, they tap into a lot of different type of country music. Mm -hmm. And I, I really like that they're letting us hear some bluesy stuff mm-hmm. and um it, gosh it sounds so good i just got mm-hmm. her voice oh, yeah. oh my she goodness. is it's such a good like, she is mm-hmm. so perfect and smooth and i don't know it's great she and she blends with anybody she sings with mm-hmm. well it's, it's pretty amazing yeah. it's really cool and that's, i honestly i think that this type of sound this bluesy sound i think that is that's what's good like that's where her voice i think is the best so mm-hmm. far that i've heard it I love them together. I think it's a great storyline. Mm-hmm. And I think his storyline makes him more likable than if he were yeah. to have been, you know, into drugs and alcohol and he lost his family. Now we really feel sorry for him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we really like him and we want him to succeed. And I think also it to, to, goes against the stereotype. I think when you see a lot of homeless people, mm-hmm. the first thing people can jump to the conclusion is, oh, you know, they, they deserve it or they've right. on, in drugs, do drugs or alcohol, yeah. they couldn't get work. Or, yeah, but when you think something like that, that mm-hmm. devastating is what, you know, made that happen and, Kind of makes you think a little bit, yeah. Definitely mm-hmm. puts it all in perspective. Mm-hmm. Oh, Terry, <laughs> Terry, Terry, Terry like George. <laughs> all right, well, let's move on and talk about Juliet and Avery. Aww. Two months Ju- later, too. We didn't even comment yeah, yeah. on that. This this episode or this episode made it two months later in Nashville, which I thought a lot of things would be different. Like the whole Terry, real quick, Terry and Scarlett thing. I thought for sure, like really, they're just now bringing that up. Right. Like they're just mm-hmm. now seeing each other again for the first time. But in terms of Avery and Scarlett, at least they can be in the same room together Mm. at the beginning of this episode. I was still a little bit annoyed that it hadn't been like a little bit more like calm between them and like, you know, I don't know. But what'd you think? I like the way it ended. Mm-hmm. I did too. <laughs> Which yeah. is, I guess, the most important yeah. part, really. You see Avery stepping up and buying the crib, and, like, they're in the doctor's office, and that's where it got so awkward. Yeah. They just can't – they couldn't kind of decide on the same – the same answer so she wants a surprise of the gender he wants to know it it was just constant like back and forth and like 
bickering and a little weird to me that he was that standoffish right. about just not wanting to do a method where he had to touch her or put her his arms around. I mean, it's, just was like, very okay. childish. It's yeah. just like, come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, but I wonder, like, after kind of, I, and I, I, now that they've decided to work together and stuff, and even with that last scene of her, him kind of like work, like in Lamaze class with her, I wonder what that's like for uh, the two actors together because obviously, like, um, Hayden is really pregnant. Right. So her baby so really kicking. Her baby is really kicking. And <laughs> so I wonder if that's a little weird for her to be playing that on screen with a different man who is not her baby daddy. Uh, or even for her fiance. If yeah. He's watching for, yeah. it anywhere to see yeah. that. It's kind of weird. But I feel like they have already had so many scenes where it's like they've gotten to know each other pretty yeah. dang well. Yeah. They've had to have sex on, on screen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fake. That's fake sex. That's fake sex. <laughs> but <laughs> on screen. So they've Technical. gotten, you know, they've gotten up close and personal. They've yeah. kissed. But I feel like, I feel like, you this know, the pregnancy, just more... it's just a little more personal because she actually does have a, a being growing crazy. inside of her. And I don't know, pregnancy scares me and uh, <laughs> it's like an alien. It's, which, I don't know. I don't like yeah. it. <laughs> which I think what a gift for him though, as an actor, because like to, that's to real. really, ha- oh, yeah, yeah, you're not putting your arms around the, the stuff, you know, so he's probably, yeah, yeah I mean, Slash, probably is like, whoa. That ain't no one pound baby. <laughs> that ain't no one pound baby. There's Woo! no way that baby's one pound. You know, she's so about to cute, pop though. right now, <laughs> so there's no way that's one pound but baby. This is the thing. This is the thing. Hayden is so little and so compact that, and and if you've seen her her husband slash fiance, how tall and you know he's just he's a he's a big guy. <laughs> Baby, he's gonna be big. Baby's gonna be big, and any type of weight or anything that happens to little tiny Hayden, <laughs> you're gonna see it, and it's gonna yeah. look even bigger because it's on Hayden, and it's gonna even look even bigger because it's on TV on Hayden. True. So yeah. you got, you know, yeah. let's cut Hayden a little, a little slack. She's still about to, she's still about she's to bust about, in like a month. <laughs> so that's kind of, I can't even imagine. Can you imagine how much like more, more this will progress as the episodes progress it's before be great. she's had? Well, I don't know when does she do. Hayden. December. Oh, so she is about mm. to pop. That's what I'm saying. Oh. They can't really pretend that's one pound in there. <laughs> Especially after two months. That's probably why they went ahead two months. But that's odd to me. Two months? Mm. So she has to be in her second trimester. Yeah. Regardless, whatever. <laughs> so it's a big baby. That's a real baby and that's in, inside of her. <laughs> and the other thing about her is I actually love seeing her play that hormonal, like emotional yeah. pregnant lady. Like when you see her talking to Raina and stuff, they needed that. I think mm-hmm. she had to, all she wanted was to talk to some mother figure and like right. really talk to somebody. Mm-hmm. While we were all watching that, we commented that that was one of the greatest scenes, you know, of the night them. is just to, yeah, to see them together now and how they interact with each other. They're my favorite together because. Yeah. Are. They've had so many ups and downs that finally it's like this casual relationship, <laughs> but where it's it's fun. I don't uh-huh. know. It's just fun to watch. Yeah. And it's like we like we always like each of them more when they're together, mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. when they're apart. Mm-hmm. Like we get so annoyed with Julia when she's not with Avery, <laughs> and Avery just is like a skeezy ball or like a drunk when he's not with Juliet. <laughs> so let's just keep them together and keep the world happy. Let's yes. talk about that song though, because that may bring them back. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I loved it. Beautiful. beautiful. Because that's her. That's what yeah. Raina told her. She gave her advice. You don't have to do it if you don't feel up to it, but go write about what you're dealing with. You're mm-hmm. dealing with the baby daddy who doesn't want to be a part of your life, just the baby, you know, all this stuff. And then when she's singing it and he comes in the door, it's like, now he gets it. Yeah. He hears what she's saying. She does love him. I don't know mm-hmm. how much more he needs to hear that, but I guess that was more raw and emotional for him to actually mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. feel what she was feeling. I did feel sorry for him though like I thought Emily was an idiot on this one it's like if she cared enough to um, like wait she went over to his house afterwards before this well, before so it was before so if she's trying to help him out and get him back into together then don't don't say he brought the wrong crib you know right. like, just be like oh great that's so nice of you you know I know. Do that when he's she can go exchange that if she needs to. Right. He's yeah. not going to notice. Yeah. Oh, my. I know. I, but I think there's going to be strides in this I, what, relationship. What I liked also in that scene when he does bring the crib over um, and, and hears Juliet singing again, I think it 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 allows him to see Juliet again, how, how he saw her when he first fell in love with her. Mm-hmm. He sees her for the talent that he knows she is, and she's letting herself be vulnerable and being, you know, this, this amazing songwriter and amazing artist, and that's what he initially fell in love with. You know, nobody else could see that, but Avery saw it. Mm-hmm. And so it, it was nice that they kind of threw back to that moment again 
um, for when they reconnected. So I really, I believe that. That was a great, uh, great. It was raw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was raw. And that was good. And I'm excited for them because that's coming back together. Well, they're not good apart, you know? No, we were so happy when we, they had the two shot with him over mm-hmm. her shoulder. We're like, oh, they're so cute. That's how it should be. Isn't we're that funny, too? She's so good. I know. She, she seemed so happy. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. it was so genuine. It's like, oh. It's mm-hmm. interesting, because I don't know that I would have ever pegged him. A couple seasons ago, I could have never. Oh, you would have no. never got me to say I like Avery and Juliet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Avery in general. He's yeah. totally right. made strides, in my opinion, yeah. for like, yep. Yeah. I am so. I agree. I am really sad though. We missed you, Derek. We missed you, Derek. I was about to say, <laughs> where in the world has he been? What's going I on know. with her movie? I guess he's got to have one more thing. You one got more something, Derek. Premiere, maybe. I need you back in my life in the she studio, does. so we in can talk studio. about your experience on Nashville. And can I just say, like, all I really want is a spin and a dip, and oh. that would just make my life. It would, Derek. So. Please, come visit us in studio. She's trying. While Please. we're talking about that, let's talk about some spins and dips real quick. So they did a little <laughs> crossover with Dancing Great with the Stars yeah, right. tonight. <laughs> Tom Bergeron, guest star, yeah. Tom Bergeron. I'm like, we're another like, one? Because we totally forgot that she was going to have this performance. I'm like, yeah. what's he going to be doing on this show? Yeah. It makes more sense yeah, that he was definitely. actually hosting First Dancing scene, with the Stars. Good, yeah. But I, her, can we talk about how good Raina yeah. looked? Those boobies. Boobs. Boobs. Um, <laughs> Boobies. Boobies were up. <laughs> the girls showed up. They were they were ready. They were ready. They were partying. Good. And it was cool because it was like a real performance on Dance with the Stars. You've mm-hmm. got the dancers actually dancing up in front. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she had the. It was the full the full package. ABC knows how to handle it. Can I just say, ABC, why didn't you call us? Raina was obviously in town shooting over at the studio just down the street. So, um, you know, it would have been nice to have her on our couch. That's all I have to say. That sounded really wrong. <laughs> we'll get her somewhere. It would just be really, yeah, nice to, we love we, we love some Connie Britton. But what do you oh, think of the song? Connie. Not going to lie, not my favorite one of the night. I think it's the other really. songs kind of. Always around it. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just think it needed more energy too for Dancing with the Stars. Mm-hmm. It was Always. just kind of flat. And I think she looked great. And I just think it, a better song could have just sold it yeah. even yeah. more. Mm, what you gonna do? She had a struggle for the weekend that she had the one weekend off. Mm-hmm. That was oh, hard boy. to watch sometimes. That was really hard to watch. Um, it yeah. was a bit much. I mean, I obviously, I don't know. Do you guys know how it's like when someone's doing such a big feature? Is that really? Do they really go yes, that in for depth? Rolling Stone? Duh. Really? Have y'all ever I watched curious Almost about Famous? That too. Yeah, yeah. I love that. That's Almost what Famous. it reminded me of. Almost yes. Famous, where the guy who's like really young, he actually goes on the tour bus and rides around with the band, band and does it. You know, they really but do. If tour. they're doing like an in-depth feature, like like for Miranda Lambert when she was mm-hmm. on Rolling Stone cover, yeah. they went to her house in Oklahoma. They went to her. They did things with her, like That's lived her true, life with yeah. her. Wait, time out, time out. You've never. You haven't seen, um, uh, oh my god, what was that movie? Almost Famous. Famous. Have you seen Almost Famous? You'll have you to have see, to see Almost Hudson. Famous. Really good. Really? Have you seen Almost Yeah. It Violet. Is I great. know. <laughs> okay, back to that. I'm yeah. sorry. But that's what they do and I think that's kind of crazy because what are, the, what are the artists really like when that happens do you think it's that much though I mean I know a few I mean, days for, I think mm-hmm. but I mean like the Miranda one I know he, she took her to her store yeah they were went, in Oklahoma but it, it kind of was like okay well we're gonna do this because it's my store and we're gonna go here right, here. right. but this one kind of felt like he was invading her personal space so much something that she could have been like okay hold on this is my time she it's like totally by 10pm you. Like, you're not going to come to my house. She could have, but she or chose to. She let chose him. not to. Or you can come to my house from 8 to 9. Exactly. And then after that, I haven't seen my fiancé in two months, and we're going to get right. it on. You know, like, yeah. I think you she could say that. Yeah. would <laughs> be fine, you know? What are they going to do? Drop her and go find somebody yeah. else? No, they already lost to an artist. Exactly. They're going to they're gonna at least get something from her. So. I think it's such a cool, like... I mean, I just can't imagine. The stink. The thing that stinks about it is that he. they think of him as a reporter, so it's not cool for him to be, like, in, up in their lives. But, like, what a cool gig. Right? You're, like, chilling with these stars. Like, if you handle it the right way, you could be like, let's have dinner. Let's <laughs> have Sunday dinner. You guys, this guy, although the entire time I was seeing this guy, I was like, is this Pedro from Napoleon Dynamite? Like, I just, I was like, who is this guy? Who is, oh he looked God, he so familiar, but, like, so, I don't know. Well, that just, face hmm. sure did sell a story, I'll tell you that. Mm-hmm. He's he got he pulled some stuff out of Raina. Oof. 
Like, yeah. well, he didn't, he wouldn't have gotten much out of Reyna, but he kind of just fell into it. They kind of... Yeah. <laughs> kind of led him to it. Well, yeah. he, all, so he did witness, though, the, the argument with Luke and Reyna mm-hmm. over the wedding cake. He witnessed cake. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that could be one heck of a story. Juliet coming in. Juliet's and, meltdown. I mean, he got some good until the, the very good journalist. big good. reveal. Mm-hmm. Who wants oh to say it? My I can't. It's, what a, it's too world. much. Well, I, I can can't. understand why, you know, Maddie Maddie probably really, really likes Justin Bieber. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when, when you find out that Justin Bieber might be your stepbrother, you're not even going to care about that. You're just going to be like, well, if I have a chance to kiss Justin Bieber, she's going to go for it. They they were going yeah. for it. <laughs> I love it. I like, the, I like the little twist. They were going for it when those lights came up and their parents walked in. I just think in the living room, really, the lights turned I down. Know. Come on, people. I at just, least hide in the mm-hmm. basement. I just want to know if, like, like I wonder if that was, like, her... I mean, obviously, that was her first on-screen kiss, but was that, like... I mean, she's young. I wonder if that oh. was, like, her first kiss. Like, as an on-screen kiss and caught in the moment. Would have been mad at that yeah. age, probably. Mine, yeah. too. Because she, she, yep. she's young. She's, like, 13. 13. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. 12, 13, yeah. She just turned 13, I think, teenage years, mm-hmm. you know? Wow. Dang. But, yes, That's Maddie young. and Colt were caught kissing. <laughs> Dude. Step it's sisters, like the Brady step bunch. sister and step brother. Oh, it's like Greg it's and Marsha, so <laughs> which I, I mean, love. Technically, they're not yet, but Raina made a really good point about what the media is going to turn yeah. that into. Yeah, and, and it, she protected Maddie. Mm-hmm. And I do feel sorry for poor Maddie. It's like she can't catch a break. You know, it's like she's dealing first of all with the, her finding out the Deacons are dead. It's just been like one thing after the next. Yeah, it's a str- I don't know how she handles it, to be honest. And then Colt, he straight up told him what he thought. Yeah. I don't care about her. She means nothing to me. That's what they think, though, at this point. They're yeah, teenagers. Maddie probably feels the same way about Luke. Yeah. Oh, she does. She said it. Daphne's the sweet one. Uh, she wasn't even in this. And then, and, and we met Colt's daughter for, I think, the first time. Sage. We saw her. Sage, Sage and Colt. Mm-hmm. Cute. Mm-hmm. Those are cute names. Yeah. But, yeah, that's drama. Yes. Ooh. And even from the beginning, though, let's jump back to Luke a little bit, because even we saw on his face when Raina tells him that she's going to do the article with Rolling Stone, and he gives her, they do the hug, Jelly. and then he's got that look. So we knew that he was a little jealous of And uh, Yeah, he, he threw a pretty big fit about the mm-hmm. whole thing, and I feel like if it was table's turn, he was on the oh. cover, he'd be like, yeah, come on into my house, yeah, let's yeah. have dinner, Raina, make, you know, set the table for him, or whatever, so... Yeah. He I really made it as hard on her as he possibly yeah. could. Yeah. And I think it's going to be an all-out brawl for this CMA mm-hmm. Entertainer of the Year. Mm-hmm. He's going to get... You're going to... I think we're finally going to see that side where Raina necessarily hasn't seen it, but everybody else knows it's there. Mm-hmm. Raina, Raina has a... Fe- like, she's felt yeah. it. Yeah. She's, How could you not? My yeah. gosh, he's so... He gets really... It's too much. It's I too don't much. like just this episode made me uncomfortable watching her with mm-hmm. him because of that attitude, mm-hmm. because of how he was in the cake shop and how she was just always trying to explain, you know, like, I got to do this. And, the, you know, just that it puts her more in this more of a whiny stage, mm-hmm. more of a, you know, pleading to him instead of I, I want her to be with somebody who is like, I like, understand you need you. to do this. Yeah. Yeah. I know this isn't what we wanted, but you know what? We'll put up with it for two days and then we'll be together for the rest of our lives. Right. We'll fine, you know, that's part of a relationship. Yeah. You don't see the support there because I think it's the jealousy. So he's like, let me make this hard. Raina, Raina, the cake, yeah. Raina, right. Like over yeah. and over. I'm like, that's and I'll so pout bad. out. I'll go pout and, and like, run out and sit by the car. It was just so ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and there are times- but he did look hot. We gave you that. He did. He Damn. Good. He did. <laughs> there were times though when I felt like it was a, it, like like with the way he would snap it was almost like when you like i don't know if you guys have ever had a friend with with a boyfriend that you're just like that makes you very uncomfortable oh, and you're like yeah. he does not treat you right it would that's I what i almost I felt like, like i felt I very before. i felt very protective of reina being yeah. like oh my god is he gonna like has is he, he gonna hit you, you? Yeah, yeah that's what i felt like because his temper just yeah it's such a flip he he has these these dual personalities like two-faced and we've known totally that all agree along with you. you guys yeah. we have seen it from him and because you see him in those flashbacks and how oh. he now wants to control and be have the power and that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what we'll see some more of next week when I, it's uh, the CMAs. I don't know. I'm not I'm not sold on the power thing yet. Right. Yet. Okay. But I do think he's super, <laughs> super jealous. Are we watching the same show? But that, yeah. She's blinded by love. I've got, I've got shades on. <laughs> Speaking of bl- wasn't blind, a great oh, song. Amazing. Oh, that was Julia. Yeah, Julia. She talked amazing. about that. Okay. Yes. Anyways. Good one. Um, <laughs> oh, but we didn't yeah. really. 
we we didn't talk about um will you, will hold on finish what I'm you were sorry. saying on that oh, one. i just i just think he's super jealous and that's where it's coming from because he wants to be a star but, star 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 not so much let me control her and not really make her. yeah i just feel like he wants to always one up her Right, but don't you think that means him having control in his career and him having the... I think that's what it is. He really wants that. I don't that. know. I don't know if it, it's that, that like, mentally twisted. I think <laughs> it is. I think he never had the power and control over her before because she was a headliner and she was with Deacon and he oh, was opening. And I think this is his way of being like, I've circle. got the person and I'm going to keep that. Okay. Hmm. You ain't getting okay. there. Okay. I'll, I'll... Yeah. Uh, he is <laughs> jealous, though. That's for sure. Mm. Dude's right, great. What were you saying? I don't remember. Oh, oh. <laughs> blind it. Blind, blind. Blind. That wasn't that the song that... Juliet uh, sang. Juliet. Yeah. Wait, then what What song did uh, oh, Will... Uh, no, right. blind, blind, oh, blind. Blind was blind Layla. Layla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Boom. Boom. Duh. Boom. So let's talk about that. <laughs> Boom. Let's talk about <laughs> so Layla and Will. Yes. So what a breakthrough this moment. episode. I mean, I guess two months gave her some space and gave her time to... Grow to up. focus and learn and mature and we were all like stunned by her yeah. like we thought this was like her by far her best performance mm. the lighting if she looked fantastic her voice sounded great i definitely think this wasn't the person we saw like earlier on in, in this series Two like ago. Yeah. and yeah. i love that they're actually kind of becoming friends yeah i still i still blame him for a lot of things yeah. and i don't think it's okay what he did but like now it's like now she's you know we get to the reality yeah. show and all that and the, the emotions that she's showing now and she's being very open about it like he's at least being somewhat supportive mm-hmm. and like mm-hmm. understanding what she may be feeling he was looking yeah. hot this episode yeah too. i don't know if his hair changed or he just got this confidence in the past two months or he's <laughs> like secure in his sexuality but i think it was the hair the, and the, 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 the t-shirt like the fitted kind of yeah oh, like an Abercrombie model. it looked like yeah, a mother i liked it yeah um, I don't know. It's funny that he came back and went straight to Gunners, but then luckily went to see his wife. Mm-hmm. What's yeah. going to happen? We'll have to talk to them about that in predictions. Yes. But I do, I don't know. What do you think about the reality show? Awful. I mean, it was completely, I, we all said it, Nick and Jessica. Newly yeah. went yeah. on. Yeah. But, and, and that producer I is mean, just terrible, horrible. Signing up like for a reality yeah. show, like if they Jerry didn't, curl. if they thought it was going to be exactly how it was filmed, right. they're crazy. Right. So naive. You and she was know. right in saying, you know, you don't think you want us to air the other stuff that we could have aired. So Right. That's the thing. She ho- she can hold that over him until he actually comes out. Because mm-hmm. right now, painting him as a sex symbol where all the girls are hooting and hollering, yeah, it's not going to be good for him. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what's making his career right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's a good singer, but those girls are buying his albums, and yeah. they're looking at him like, oh, maybe I could date yeah. him one day. Yeah. Kind of like we do with some country artists. <laughs> Well, I mean, like with Jessica, it was like the same thing, but it was like with her body weight, with her weight issues. Like that's kind of what they held against her a little bit. It's interesting, mm-hmm. but he it's going to come out at some point and it's going to completely, I think they need to get ahead of this. Mm-hmm. Get ahead of it. Yeah. Don't let these producers dictate you. Like I, don't Preach. let everybody else dictate your life, Will. That's my thing. Don't let the show totally air. Agree. Do something to get it off the air. Well, they, and that's what she could do because yeah. they sign a con, or that's what he can do. Be honest, and then yeah, that, they're that, not going to yeah. want it. So what he's parading? He's still naked. thinking about yeah. his career, obviously. Mm-hmm. But Layla may have one in her future. Mm-hmm. I mean, yes. and even I mean, Gunner noticed it. Uh, Zoe. You, Zoe, Zoe noticed it. Like we thought, like we, Layla <laughs> was going to be gone. Yeah, we, we did yeah. not think she'd last this long in the no. season. But obviously, her storyline is going to come back around because. You know, it definitely perked Gunner's interest. So I would not be surprised if we saw her in studio with Gunner. And mm-hmm. That's what little, I was thinking. Little exactly. jelly, jelly, uh, Zoe. Zoe. <laughs> Gunner may not have time for that. Um, yeah. yeah. So Gunner's definitely child. got something to deal with Full this time. episode. Mm-hmm. Full time dad. Yeah. Take it back yeah. to the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Let's take it back. So Kylie has pretty much dumped Micah on them, and Zoe is back again being whiny because she is not wanting, liking to share her time. I feel like she's not being whiny so much as she's just not communicating how she's feeling. Zoe. It's passive aggressive all oh the time. Oh, my God. Right. That's the thing. Be honest and open about it because. Let me tell you, if some kid just automatically became my boyfriend's son, I'd be like, really? I'm going to have to deal with this every day? You know what I mean? And she's going to pick him up, not Gunner. Gunner has to go right. So it's like, that's not her responsibility. I think I'd be a little bitter about it. But she's also not saying it and being open about it. She finally started getting there. Yeah. Not that it really helped because it was a little too late. (laughs) Too little, too late. (laughs) 
but, but let's talk about this crazy Kylie. I mean, crazy who Kylie. does that? Yeah, yeah, I mean, who? First of all, let's backtrack on this relationship with this guy that she supposedly... So so she just went to go see him, but before that, they had just met on Online, the internet yes. and hadn't even seen each other, like, And she was going to pick up and move to his hometown yeah. with Micah. Without him knowing without, that she has a child. Hey. <laughs> and Who without does? Gunner knowing that he was the father to that yeah. child. Girlfriend is... <laughs> She do cray. it. Cray. Yes. Cray. She a cray. Yeah, she a cray. We had to get that out. Hashtag yeah. she a cray. cray. But for she real though, that's so, so insane. Like I don't get, and you know. For real though. You know people do that though. You know people in this like Atlanta. I know I'm guaranteed back in the South where I'm from, this stuff happens. Baby cray. <laughs> But it's so messed up. <laughs> it is so coming? hard for me to wrap my head around this girl and yes. why she thinks that this is an okay decision to make. Yeah. Well, because Gunner's a better dad than she could have ever been a mom to Mike. Right, but you've been the mom for how many years and now all of a sudden you're going to get rid of him? She's uh, insane. I think this was her plan all along. I really do. Yeah. I don't think it is. I don't either because at the beginning she was so against she wasn't going to say anything. Him, him, but, she would, but when he would say stay, stay, she'd be like, okay. Like, cool, Until she I found guess. a man and it was more about her, her selfish reasons. When I yeah. bet you this man suggested this to her. Probably. I, I don't know. I, think, she's I don't like, think so. I think I this either. is just like her. I think she's just like, oh, this is my chance to have love. And, you know, feels like she's she probably gonna feels like she put beaten. her time in. It like, sounds yeah. like an abusive relationship. That's yeah. why I was say, already for someone to be like, I don't want kids. And then she's still going to go like, yeah. because she wants to be with this. What has he manipulated her yeah. to think that that's okay? Like, yeah. give it all up and come. Yeah, something bad. She's like saying nobody wants to be with a single mom acting like she's like, what, 60? Right. Dude, really? <laughs> right. She's so cute. You're like You're 20. Like 20, yeah. yeah. And, yeah, we're going to find out. That's going to be rough. Gunner have to come to the rescue here mm-hmm. eventually. And I, this is, okay, should I say Wait, should wait. Wait. Okay. It's so hard. Oh, yeah. Wait. But Zoe's going to be in for a rude awakening wait. now that she's a oh, stepmom, basically. Zoster. And this is, again, going to be rough for mm-hmm. their relationship. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, that's drama. That's a big spread. Drama, drama. Mama. Is that about it? All right. I think, I think, I think we so. covered it. Good episode. It was. We did yeah, like really, it at the beginning. Yeah. It, it started out up. slow. Yeah. yeah. And then of all, all of a sudden. A boobies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> boobies. Boobies. Uh, Raina James. She didn't look good. <laughs> well. I don't great know. hair, great boobies, <laughs> boobs, and we're Too twelve much tonight. <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, this is what happens when we don't so, when we're away for a week. Right. Yeah, we got to get it together. You guys, okay. but Whitney, Whitney was here last week, and if you guys watch the CMA show, mm-hmm. they uh, Whitney and Marissa did a great CMA after show. So you guys should check it out. On and after let's Buzz talk TV. about that in so news and gossip plug. right now. <laughs> yeah. All right, news and gossip. Got you. Great lead in I there. Got you. Yeah. So, who watched the CMAs? Me. And people at home, you got to tell us what you thought because, I mean, and watch the show too because we had some great opinions. Am I right, Marissa? Am I right? Oh, so mm-hmm. right. <laughs> there were amazing performances. Our own Raina James was there as a presenter. I saw that Deacon and uh, Daphne and Maddie walked the red carpet. So, Layla, too. Yes. They yeah. were I got all one, there. I got one because I was on the plane, but I just see, follow the Twitter feed a little bit. Yeah. And my boy, Oliver, uh, did post a wonderful shot of his crotch. Oh, really? He was in. What's his Instagram? He was in. <laughs> well, he was with your boy, Will, and they oh. were in a limo together. And all I, the next thing he posts is a shot of his crotch. He must have heard our party get shot. I, that's what I, I wondered. <laughs> so. But. I mean, Luke Bryan took home Entertainer Woo! of the Year, so it'll be interesting to see what happens next week and who takes home the uh, the Entertainer of the Year um, on the show. But awesome show. you got to check it out. I mean, amazing performances, and our Nashville peeps were there to represent, so that was pretty fun to watch. Yeah. Besides that, that's about all I have for News and Gossip. I know you had a... Just a small little thing on Twitter today. Um, Charles was posting uh, pictures of what you could find inside Deacon's house, which was just a little something. It was kind of fun that's and entertaining. Fun. I, you know, now we, it's a game you can kind of play when you're watching and see if you can spot the items that he posted on there it was one was like a picture of abraham lincoln that's so funny <laughs> i know it was like Honest it was Dave. a random random thing <laughs> some so people are really good kind of at fun. seeing all those details mm-hmm. and yeah. knowing it. also i did hear that the stella sisters have a christmas song so i'll bring more about oh. that next week oh. when i yeah. actually dig deeper but i've heard a lot about that and you know they're awesome. so good at those they're so i mean they're mm-hmm. harmonies awesome. their harmonies oh and their the, the way their voices blend is just mm. and our puppy blue turned too Yay. Yay! Happy birthday, yeah. Blue. Happy birthday, Blue. All right, that's okay. Does Blue look like Clooney? 
Um, well, he's yellow, but he, uh, he's got like the same sort of uh, like doofy face, you know. Doofy like, face. I think he might be a little calmer than Clooney, uh, but hmm. JJ has a beautiful little puppy. Uh, it's a silver lab named Clooney, Aww. and this, her very own blue. Yeah. Yes, he is so cute. So check out her Instagram, and you can see <laughs> lots of pictures of Mr. Lots. Clooney. Way too many than you probably <laughs> ever wanted to see. <laughs> All right, let's dive into our predictions. We got we got plugs for everybody today. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of insane. <laughs> okay, who wants to you go? guys go? Oh boy. Um, I think I mean the obvious. Luke and Rain are gonna have a huge thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I uh, for who's gonna win the CMA? Yeah. I think it's gonna be neither. Me too. I think it's and Luke Bryan. It's, yeah, hey, <laughs> that would be really yeah, and funny. I think it it's would make be sense. really, yeah. um, really bad between them. Because I think then I'm going to keep on this because I think leading up to it is when you're going to really see yep. it come out, and then when both of them don't win, then it's going to be like, whoa, this is how we act with each other when it comes <gasps> yeah. down to this. Ooh, what if they use something? What if they use footage from the actual CMA awards? They from very last may well. Week. They very that may is, well. That would be so cool. That reminded me real quick on something we didn't touch on because Raina decided to ex- trade letting oh. her kids be exposed oh God, yeah, yeah we were gonna kids being exposed so she would expose the yes. story about deacon and we got in, we a, got yeah. in a little tip over that what did you oh, think i yeah. was pissed at first because we don't know so what do you right. think well I, I think it's more what you said but at the beginning when she first did it and she offered it up him up so quickly it it irritated me and made me mad because i feel like once again she was dumping on deacon like, like i feel like the yes i feel like she's never like ever just like had him first you know and i was like come on we We've been past this like right. why did you have to go there like there could have been some other option or or do something with against um what with luke yeah, <laughs> like yeah. i will luke uh yeah so it just made me mad at first that, that that was the first place she went to and see i went the complete opposite direction because i thought finally she's gonna start telling the story about deacon this is her their way that they're gonna lead into them eventually getting back together mm-hmm. that she's gonna be open and honest about this love story that is still open out in the open we don't know what the story's gonna be but i do think it came from a place where it's like they're gonna get to know something that everybody's been dying to know and it's her way of kind of sharing that story and i think it just made her relive it a little bit mm-hmm. from the way it yeah. seemed I just think that made her relive it, and I think it's going to be mm-hmm. sentimental. I think it's going to be open. I think it's going to share that she still is in love with him. I think um, that's how it will be framed when it comes out. I wish she would have recorded Luke being like, thank you so much for protecting my son. Oh, yeah. I wish, because yeah. he's going to flip this on her, and oh. she's going to be like, you said yourself, you were thankful. Like, I did this for our kids. It was right. either our right. kids, or it was this. And we're going to yeah. And then he's going to be like, I didn't want it at the expense of our love. I didn't know it was going to be Deacon. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. And it's going to be huge. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that she used Deacon. I feel like that's what she's doing. She's using Deacon. And even when the reporter called him, he said, that's not a story right. I want to right. tell. Mm-hmm. So how is, you know, she doesn't even think how is, I'm bringing another person into this to save my own kids. But like, God, it's just, oh, it's Okay, fun. I see I that because he, di- he didn't necessarily want to talk uh-huh. about it. But I see this as a way that we almost see Avery seeing Julie at singing the song as mm. Deacon didn't want to share but when what he sees coming from Raina yeah. herself I think that's going to be like oh there is still hope there is still a chance mm-hmm. I, I totally them. agree with you on yeah. that one I think what is she doing? I think the way she did it that is what's going to happen that, yeah. that Deacon's not going to be mad that she did it but I, I think initially I was just like um, oh you know like when, when she's yeah. with the reporter she's so like you know I don't normally do this and I like to keep my private life private and with me and that's why I felt like well then that should be one of the right. most sacred relationships that you have so you should have protected that too she is but, opening a can of worms because mm-hmm. we're even opening up about deacon is going to get maddie back on that right. bus oh, and all yeah. that so who knows but at least she's saving maddie from this although i do think that's inevitably going to come out at some point too. i think she is such a good like i i loved that moment between her and maddie and with like her reasoning of why mm-hmm. she was against kind of mm-hmm. you know what yeah. was going on because maddie was like you know it's not like you know we're even siblings yet and she was just like yeah but remember how upset you were when you saw yourself in that magazine you know i'm just trying to protect you from that because you don't need that but as soon as your friends get like word of this this will be in a magazine oh, yeah. and you don't want like so i really i, I think that was a great way because i don't feel like she wasn't yelling at maddie mm-hmm. it was just like Hey, this is the world. Mm-hmm. Listen, this is the world right. we live in. Understand, like that's w- what you have to deal with. Like yeah. that's just a penalty. I think 
Colt's going to share that at some point. Though. Oh, my God. Oh, I Alan. do. I don't think I think it's not going to be kept secret and it's going to be real awkward. Colt's what are some like, other predictions? Uh, yeah. I think Colt's going to maybe put out there that maybe like like she put out or like, I don't know, something mm. on social media and mm. he's going to like he so many followers. especially especially once Raina and Luke break up. Oh. Colt's going to turn against Maddie and really in a really mean way. I, I think. think Luke That's will turn sad. against and help make Colt be the one. I think Luke's just evil inside. Oh, I, I, don't, do. I don't think he's going to turn again. I think they might continue to see each other, even though they're Behind not supposed back. to. Yeah. And then it's going to come out. Yeah. Well, what about Layla and, and Will? I think she's going to. I think she, I do. Oh, she I, I think she's going to get so frustrated, by the way. Now, she's being perceived. I think she was over it. Yeah. yeah but now, now I think it's taking her right back to where she was because he looks like the golden He's, boy again. When, and then she's. Yeah. yeah. They said something like the sex symbol and yeah. she looked at him and she, I think it was like a, oh, this is what I'm going to go on She definitely to. can. Yeah. We've always thought it was going to be her. But I almost see them. I see her manipulating it in a way is where she is that friend. They're getting closer. They get closer so. until she, until she ruins it because uh. I think she won't be able to handle it unless he, I don't know. Now it's a little it's a question for question mark for me because she did start to be a different person yeah. this episode. So it's a little more up in the air for me as to yeah. how he's gonna come out or someone's gonna say that. And I think that must be in the mid season finale. I have another one. Wow. I have another prediction. All right. Okay. I think that um, after what was her name? What's the crazy girl's Kylie? name? Kylie. Kylie. Kylie left. I'm like, which so one? So I think. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think Zoe is gonna be like uh, Gunner. Like we need to do something about this. You need it. Like you, you technically don't even know if this is your kid. Yeah. Maybe you should get a paternity test. He's gonna get a paternity test. Find out it's not his kid but it's his brother's kid. I but I think, think I think the fact that it's going to be his brother's kid, not only is that going to hurt because he was dating her at the time then that she cheated on him with her, his brother, but I think that's going to make Micah mean something even more to Gunnar mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. it's going to be the, the last, last piece of his brother that he has. Um, Completely agree. Yeah. I agree. That's, yeah. that's where it's that's going to go. Yep. yep. I can't wait. All right, All right. let's end on that. Woohoo. Whoa. All right, where are they ca- where can they find you ladies at? You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Vine at Violet Kanye. <laughs> and Virgin others? Atlantic Airlines. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Y'all can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Southern underscore wit. You guys can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Keaton Markey. And Twitter at JJ Jurgens, Instagram Jurgens JJ, and my blog TomGirl.tv. Marissa? Uh, you can follow me on Twitter <laughs> and on Instagram at Serafini TV. See y'all All right. next week. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Yes. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz y'all later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.